inflammatory linear varicose epidermal nevius. Now, I think you have a hurump hurump. I think you have, your baby has ilven, I-L-V-E-N. No, he doesn't, or she. He's got an immune problem and an inflammatory problem with the skin. That gives you more power and more control than some nonsensical, stupid, idiotic Latin diagnosis. Does that help you, ma'am? And I'm sorry if I got all upset there. Does that help you, Tara? Thank you. Um, okay, I will be calling somebody to repeat. <laughs> oh, to repeat? You're cute. It's all on the archives. I know this it's a lot okay. of information. It's all on the archives, which, are, which should be up within an hour or two at brightsideben.com. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so much for your call. I, I know I gave uh, Portera a ton of information. Fats, fatty vitamins, immune system, food allergies. That's pretty much it. Fats, fatty vitamins, immune system and allergies, and, of course, digestion of fats and fatty vitamins. All right. Uh, let's see. Who's next on the line? Lucinda in Oregon. Welcome to the Bright Side. What's going on? Hello? Hello, Lucinda. Oh, hi. Thank you hi. so much. What's um, up? Yes. Um, okay. Well, what's been going on is I've been doing hot yoga for six months. That's okay. The background. That's torture. Um, is it Bikram's? <laughs> yes. Yes. I did it a couple times. I won't do it again. <laughs> that, was, that was torture. <laughs> you get used to it. It's cool. Okay. And I and I also haven't fully recovered from a cold that I had three weeks ago. Okay. And and I've been left extremely exhausted and weak. Well, yeah, it's that Bikram's, it's that hot yoga. Of course you're going to be exhausted and weak. Well, no, but part of the thing is is I've heard about, you know, the supplementation because there's okay. a lot of sweating, and that's necessary. I, um, I've also, the, the things that I'm concerned about is my low energy level, and that's okay. happened since the cold. It ha- wasn't from the Bikram, I don't think. You want some uh, ideas for that? Yes, wait a minute, and I have a slight numbness in my left arm, and I'm also concerned because my hair has been losing its volume for over a year now, okay. and I'm really worried about that. Sounds like you got some thyroid issues here, um, yes. and, and the way you deal with your thyroid is you deal with your adrenal glands. That's how you deal with the thyroid, folks. And I know iodine is important. Yes, indeed. And so are the uh-huh. B vitamins. So is selenium. So is sulfur. They're all important for the thyroid. But the first thing you want to do when you're dealing with a thyroid problem is focus on something that's burdening the body. Your adrenal glands are your burden glands. They call them the stress glands. It means something is burdening the body, and the adrenal glands are kicking in. Now, are you approaching menopause, postmenopause, perimenopause, anywhere near there? Uh, post. Okay, postmenopause. So chances are that you've got some extra adrenal burden. Postmenopausal women, uh, you stop making uh, hormones in the ovaries after menopause, but you still make them in the adrenal glands. So if your adrenal glands are off fighting some kind of stress, either digestive stress or blood sugar stress, and now they've got to make hormones too. They're always making hormones, but now they're the main hormone-making glands. Now you're really running risks for hypothyroidism and, indeed, postmenopausal hypothyroidism is like an epidemic. So we want to get those adrenal glands stabilized. And the two main ways, well, the three main, well, the four main ways to do it, number one is stabilize the blood sugar with more protein using uh, nutrients that help you uh, process sugars and laying off the sugars. And that means bread and pasta, that's the, and rice and potatoes and grains, etc. Anything that messes up your blood sugar is going to mess up your adrenal glands, which will cause low energy and hypothyroidism. And that does indeed sound like what you're dealing with. So more protein, less insulin spiking foods and that includes fruit juices and fruits and then using the sweeties from longevity as well as the beyond tangy tangerine which can both help you with processing sugar i wouldn't wait one day before i got on the btt by the way i would do it right away and then also the sweeties and they'll help you process sugar and then also if you have any digestive problems that can cause a burden or a stress on the body which will tax the adrenal glands too so you're going to need to correct any food allergies or digestive problems as well and then working directly with the adrenal glands there's a few things that you could do Vitamin C is probably the most important vitamin for the adrenal glands, and zinc is probably the most important mineral for the adrenal glands. So in addition to your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you should probably be on 1,000 to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day, and you probably want to be on 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day. The adrenal glands are also responsive to salt, so in addition to your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you might want to get yourself some Celtic sea salt, put it in a cup of water and sip on it, um, and sip on it all day long, or not sip on it all day long. Just sip on it a little bit. What will happen is you'll start to, the first couple sips of that, uh, of that uh, salt water are going to taste delicious and then gradually less and less delicious. And then when you don't want any more, you don't want any more. You've had enough salt. Do you find yourself craving salt, by the way, Lucinda? Uh, no. Not at all? 
You sure? Um, salty well, foods? Yeah, I like, I like salty foods. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's the same idea. So uh-huh. uh, that's a sign that the adrenal glands are starting to get a little stressed out. And then also a uh, deep breathing, slow, deep breathing can pr- uh, mm-hmm. be a panacea for the adrenal glands. So make sure you're practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques. So you got uh, the adrenal. I-, I wouldn't even worry about the thyroid directly for now, although iodine is certainly important, and you probably want to get on some nascent iodine or iodorol just because it's a great supplement. But really you want to focus on blood sugar issues, digestive issues, and then in terms of the adrenal glands on making sure you're getting enough salt, making sure you're getting enough zinc and vitamin C as well, and practicing your deep breathing techniques. So focus will on them. Help the, will help, that help the hair issues as Heck well? Heck yes. Long term, hair takes about six months. By the time you see your hair is not coming out, it's been mm-hmm. anywhere from three to six months that it's been, it hasn't been forming correctly underneath your scalp. So that'll take a little bit more time, but what you'll uh-huh. notice is more energy. And as you have more energy, your, uh, the rest of the symptoms will start to improve, including hair. Got to, I want to take a couple more calls. I'm going to move on here, Lucinda. I hope, oh, shit. Sure. That's all we've got time. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I know I left you guys on hold. Hey, Chris, Philip, Truth Raider, if you call first thing tomorrow, I guarantee you I will get you up first, even if I have to cut my monologue short. Uh, so call first thing uh, tomorrow on the bright side, and I apologize for leaving you on hold. That's all the time we have for today. I'm so sorry, guys. Um, now it goes by way too fast on the bright side. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. If you're interested in joining the Bright Side Ben team, click on the Join the Team link at BrightSideBen.com or give the Bright Side Ben phone team a call at 866-735-2470. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866-404-3663. FreezeDryGuy.com Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Well, the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me. Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com.